Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So guys, uh, we remain consistent and we solved nine out of nine problem from arrays and hashing topic, right? So we have completed this. Now the next topic that we have to focus on is two pointers, right? So now we will start solving the problems that has been listed in this particular topic. So the first problem from this topic is valid palindrome. Right, so as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, the logic part, and then we'll be having a look on the coding part. Uh, before that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys, do consider subscribing my channel. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you, and I believe the channel is going to be helpful for you. So do subscribe, and you can follow me on other platforms as well. So let's get started. So here, uh, the problem is valid palindrome. A phrase is a valid palindrome if after converting all uppercase letters into lowercase letters and removing all non-alphanumeric characters, it reads the same forward and backward. Alphanumeric characters include letters and numbers. Given a string S, return true if it is a palindrome or false otherwise. So, and here we, we will discuss the example for sure. Here they have provided the constraint and mentioned that S consists only of printable SKI characters, right? So we have been given a string, right? And we have to determine if it is a palindrome or not. Now for determination of the same, they have said that uh, basically you have to convert all uppercase letters into lowercase and remove all non-alphanumeric characters. Means what? So it's not that they have said you have to remove, so you, I mean, you are going to modify the string. I mean, that is not even needed. So you have to remove means these non-alphanumeric characters. Now, what are non alphanumeric characters? They have already defined the characters uh, which are not letters and numbers, right? They are, they are not neither letters nor numbers. So, they are non alphanumeric characters. So, they are not contributing in the determination of uh, a string is a palindrome or not. So, if you will come across any such character which is not um, a letter or digit, we are simply going to skip that, okay? We are simply going to ignore that or sim simply going to skip that, right? And other than this, like uh, we have to compare. So if any, see any alphabet. So here you can see uppercase alphabet. We are, we are, if we are seeing, so we have to convert this in lowercase and we have to do the comparison. So on comparison, if, uh, if, com if on comparison, if you will start reading, if you will start reading from the forward direction or from the backward direction, if it reads the same, means it is a palindrome. For example, here if you will see, so here this is a palindrome. You can see A M A N A P L A N A. Similarly, here from here if you will read, so A M A N A P L A N A, like right. So this is a palindrome. Here if you will check, so race a car, so race a car we have uh, combined. So R A C E A C A R R A C A, right? So this is not a palindrome. R A C R A C is same, but here we have E, here we have A, right? So this is not a palindrome. Okay, so now if an empty string is there, then obviously this would be an obviously this would be this would be a palindrome because S is an empty string. So after removing non-alphanumeric character, an empty string reads the same forward and backward, which is a palindrome, right? So very easy problem it is, right? So it's just um, simply what we have to do, like what they have said. First of all, if uh, our string is empty, given a string is empty, we have to simply return true, right? Uh, if not then basically we'll be maintaining two pointers we'll be maintaining two pointers let me let me copy uh, this string let me copy this string let me copy this string so two pointers will be maintained so what we have to do we have to check if uh, we are able to read the string same forward and backward so how we can make sure when the characters are same right when the characters are same so we will do we will be doing what we'll be doing the comparison so one pointer will maintain at the starting of the index and one pointer at the end of the index. So that's what we are doing. This is uh, ST is for keeping track of the starting index and LST last is for the end index. So here, here we have S and here we have ST or LST, right? So now, now we have to continue till the time ST is less than equal to LST, right? We have to continue in this loop. Now, Two things like you are sure. See, if the character is not letter or digit, so we already have this method um, in Java. So I have directly used it. So if character is not letter or digit, so in that case, 
let's say we we have started our iteration and currently st is pointing to a character which is neither a letter nor digit so what we have to do we have to simply skip that because as said it is not going to contribute in uh, in the determination of a string is a palindrome or not so we are simply going to do st plus plus similarly here also let's say from uh, from this end from right end if lst is pointing to a character which is neither a a uh, letter or digit we are simply going to skip that so we will be doing lst minus minus if that is not the case then what we are going to do we are going to do the comparison of the characters right and uh, we have to make sure that they both should be lower case only because they are saying that uh, upper case we have to convert in lower case right so we have to so that's what we are doing is that we are converting this character dot to lower case so whatever the character is at st we are converting this into lower case similarly whatever is the character at lst we are converting it to the lower case so if they both are not equal we can simply say that it is not a palindrome we are going to return false right so that is what we are checking in this condition so as of now s is uh, on this one so as if it is converted in lower case so that would be that would be small a itself and lst is also at a a and a is just similar then then the space and everything is going to be ignored so that i'm not considering that right then this m this m is equal then this a like s if equal is there see if this condition is not see this is not being true then what we are doing we are simply moving forward we are simply moving forward um uh, towards the right for st so we are doing st plus plus right and in lst we are moving towards the left so we are doing lst minus minus right so we keep on doing this comparison this a this a is equal this n this n is equal right comma and everything comma space is going to be ignored then this a this a is equal then this p is obviously converted into the lower case one so this p and this p is equal this l this l is equal a and a is equal and and n is equal right so at any time this condition is not going to be true for this particular string and See if if this never became true, then obviously it is a uh, it is a palindrome, right? So at the end we are returning true, right? So yeah, this was the problem. I hope you were able to understand the logic part, uh, the problem statement, and everything, right? So thank you so much for watching this video. We'll be talking about the next question tomorrow, and keep on maintaining the consistency. We have to build this habit of problem solving. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.